Hey guys, hey chosen generation, hey beautiful people of the most high God, how are you guys doing on this evening? It is a beautiful, beautiful day, well it was a beautiful, beautiful day today, um, on this Thursday. Um, I did want to come on and say a little something to you guys, so welcome, welcome to all my subscribers, let me give you a hug, mm, welcome to all my viewers as well as those that are here for the first time. And if you are here for the first time, welcome. I just want to say, my name is May, and on this channel, I give you whatever the Holy Spirit gives me, a word of encouragement, a prophetic word, a uh, scripture, whatever he gives me, I give it to you. So welcome. And if that's something that you like to hear, please be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and your notification bell so that you can get every new upcoming video. And I do apologize if the light is going in and out. I'm in my bedroom, so the light is not really good in here. But I did want to come on and give this quick message that the Holy Spirit had gave me. So I just wanted to come on and talk about fear. Um, as I was driving tonight, the Holy Spirit was telling me to come on and talk about fear. He said a lot of my people, a lot of the body of Christ are fearful at this time because of different things, finances, finances. Uh, jobs, uh, home dysfunction, um, just a lot of different things going on in the world right now, uh, politics, different things uh, in the world, you know, um, casualties, different things that are going on, and people are just so fearful. Um, they don't know which way to turn, their finances are dried out, you know, and they're just very, very fearful. They don't know what's going to happen. But the Holy Spirit was wanted me to come on, and He gave me... Um, you know, like just like when you're a baby, you know how when you begin to to start walking and you, your parent or your mother or your father has their hand out to you and they're trying to, you know, coast you on and they're saying, come on, come on, come on. Well, the Holy Spirit, he was letting me know that's the same thing with our daddy, our father. He is saying, come on, I'm with you. You don't have to fear what's going on in the world. Keep your focus on me. Stay focused on me. Don't look at, don't look over here. And get distracted because when you look over here, that's when you fall. And just like with a baby, he was saying to me, a baby, it takes some time to gain their strength in their legs. And then after a while, they'll take a couple more steps. And then you'll be like, oh my gosh, he's walking a couple more steps. And then next thing you know, you may turn your head one day and he's walking, taking five, six, seven steps. And next thing you know, he's walking and picking up things with his hands or he or she picking up things with your hands and next thing you know they're going around the house trying to tear the house up because they're finally able to walk on their own and they're what confident and that's what the holy spirit was saying he wants to build up your confidence in him to know that he's with you that he will never leave you nor forsake you he loves you so much and he said he will never ever leave you nor forsake you and do not allow the enemy to tell you that God doesn't love you. Do not allow the enemy to tell you that your life is useless. Your life is nothing because you may have lost a family member, family members, and you may feel like you are by yourself. But the Holy Spirit wanted me to come on here and let you know that you are truly, truly loved by God and you are the apple of his eye. So do not allow the enemy to tell you that you are worthless, that no one loves you. Even if you've been through bad marriage, bad divorce, um, even if you felt like, you know, at times, uh, you know, you just don't have anyone. You feel like, you know, you talk to people, but you still feel lonely. You know, God is saying he's your best friend. He wants to be your best friend, but you have to open up and begin to talk to him and spend time with him and get to know him and commune with him. You know, that's how I've done. You know, it, it takes time. You know, it takes time to build a relationship with God, you know, just like anything else. But once you build up your confidence in him, uh, you can't go wrong. Once you build up the trust in him, you can't go wrong. I can't tell you how many times God has brought me through so many things in my life. I remember some years back when I felt like I was going to lose it. When I felt like someone could just take my head and just spin it on a spinner. And just basically just spin it around. You know, um, that's how upset I was about what I was going through. You know, um, second failed marriage and just tired you know, tired of life, tired of dealing with things. And, you know, um, at some point, I even wanted to take my, my life, you know, because I was so tired of what I was going through. But um, I thank God for his mercy and grace, how he turned me around 
and basically gave me a mind to live for him again uh truly truly turn over everything and truly live for him you know um life is so precious life is so beautiful um life is a gift you know and i i thank god i feel so bad when i hear of people doing the opposite you know because it's so precious it's so good and it's so uh it's a gift you know it can it can be good you know of course it can be good it can be bad but it is good for me and i like to say that you know a lot of times um you know people you know allow things that have made them uh depressed and things that have you know affected them from their childhood um they carry it over and, and what happens is a lot of times they go through life and they begin to be also a lot of fear and a lot of just just turmoil because of the things that they've been through but god is saying you know just like that baby you know he wants you to trust him that he's bringing you through everything hallelujah and he's strengthening you he's strengthening you spiritually okay the physical the baby falls on the floor and they, you know they're, they're kind of you know wobbly when they're walking but god is saying that he's going to strengthen that wobble in you he's going to strengthen you to the point where you're going to be able to you know eat eat that steak you know you're going to be able to eat the word of god and take it in and digest it and be able to eat it spiritually i'm talking about spiritually eat it to the point where you'll be able to understand and know that god is with you it's a growing process you know it's not overnight um trust me you know when i began to uh, really really truly trust god it took me some time to really trust god i have been through some things in my life a lot of things you know and um it has taken me time to really build up my trust with him and just to know that he was with me and that he was working everything out um you know so i just want to come on and encourage you tonight you know that god is with you he loves you he's with you he's working things out for you don't allow the enemy to make you feel like he's not with you because he's just lying to you and that's what he does his job is to lie to our mind tell us this that and the other you know to make you feel like it's worse than it is you know build up this um horrible picture in your mind about everything around you um you know a lot of times building up pictures of people on your job your boss you know but if, if you change your mindset and you change how you look at things and you change how you are looking at people and how you think about yourself you'll notice that everybody around you everything around you will change because you're changing your mindset and stop thinking that everyone in the whole world is against you you know um, the enemy will make you feel that way you know trust me he will make you feel like everyone's against you no one cares yada 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 you know and that's his job is to tear you down so that you can feel hopeless to the point where you will just give up and throw your hands up and say that's it i'm tired you know but god is saying don't do that know that he's with you and he has so much more for you but you have to take those steps you have to step out in faith you can't just sit there and say oh how am i going to do this oh i don't have the money for this oh i don't have the money for that no step out on faith and and try whatever way which you could try whatever way it takes you do it don't give up because that's what happens when you give up and you don't do it then it never comes to pass and you say well i didn't have the money sometimes you don't have to have the money for everything a lot of times you know if you just step out on faith and just you know check out what you're trying to do do some research or whatever god will direct you and before you know it you'll have what you want you know what i mean you'll have and you may not have to put a dime down and so many opportunities out here in the world and sometimes the enemy will make you just be living in a box where you don't know anything that's out here because you just in your mind i don't have the finances you know but that's the enemy where he wants you to stay in that box you know and not enlarge your territory so the devil is a liar i speak it over you tonight that you will succeed you will go forth you will do the things that god has placed on the inside of you hallelujah in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you will do those things you will not uh continue to be lax and, and and complacent in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father i thank you for each one under the sound of my voice i ask that you would be with them encourage them and that you will allow them to go forth in you take away all fear and all doubt and teach them father how to trust you teach them oh god to know when they talk to you father that 
you are right there with them. Hallelujah. And that you love them unconditionally. In the name of Jesus. And Satan, I counsel every assignment that you would try to bring on your on God's people. I counsel every assignment right now. And I speak peace to their mind and peace to their spirit. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I love you guys. I truly do. Be encouraged and know that God is with you. Remember, you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you and I will talk to you soon.